Hi Capricorn, welcome. This is our weekly reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Inquiring for the week of July 22nd through the 28th, 2016. It is a general reading, so see what feels right for you. Um, all of us are beautiful children of God. All of us are psychic and spirits always on our side to help us. So see which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, numbers, stories, characters resonate for you and bring you clarity to whatever you're wondering, concerned, confused, praying, dreaming, inquiring about. In the end, always use your own logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody involved in the situation and their situation and their situation and so on. So everybody is uplifted in love. In the end, how you ride these energetic waves is up to you, Capricorn. So see how it feels, um, see what resonates for you. I'm going to begin with a numerology card. So let's see what's in store for Capricorn this week. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for Capricorn, for the highest and greatest good of all. And one card from the Animal Oracle deck. From the Power Archangel Tarot deck for a focal point for Capricorn. And Capricorn, I have the Handle Tarot for us. So, three cards from this deck. Capricorn, 22nd to the 28th of July, 2016. That one. Did you see it? I don't want to look yet. All right, one more or two more. All right, Capricorn, let's see what we have for the week for us. All right. I'm going to start with the numerology card. You have Surrender 91, Let Go, Cut the Strings, Let It Be. Um, take back your power by releasing control of what you don't need to control. Control yourself. Um, ask for help. Ask for forgiveness. Um, I want to say pray. Ask spirit. Ask God. Ask source to help you. Um, and then let it go and see how your answer comes to you. See what clarity comes to you. See um, I want to say compassion with this. Um, think with the spirit of your heart. Think with your heart. Um, 91, so 10, so in 1, it's a new beginning. Surrender into a new beginning, Capricorn. There's a lot of creativity and spirit in that card. I get so much out of these cards, and I know it's the same thing with different colors on every card, but... I always get a lot of energy from these, so I feel like a lot of creativity. You're creating something new, you're starting something new, you're birthing something new, you're ending something, you're releasing the old this week. Um, surrender to the better things coming in, you know? Open your arms and let the universe bring you something awesome this week. All right, 
I'm going to move to the animal oracle. Jinx. 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 Benga, benga. Come over here by me so I know where you are. Thank you. Come over here. Come here. Come, come. You hang out there. Thank you. All right. Jinx is my friend's dog. She's been hanging out with me for the week. She's pretty awesome. This is Jinx. Vincenzo, if you don't, welcome. This is my porch. All right, Capricorn for the animal oracle. You have the tortoise. You're too fragmented, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. I want to say go on a walk, have a picnic, sit on the ground, sit on the grass, take your shoes off, take your socks off if you can, and um, take your time. Don't spread yourself too thin. Go somewhere in solitude and think about how you can like restructure your time so you're not putting... You're not giving from an empty plate. So you give back to you first so you feel whole and you can make solid decisions on where your time and energy should be focused. Um, all right, from the Power Archangel Tarot, you have the Hierophant, which is five, Divine Guidance, Archangel Samothan. So the search for the meaning of life, that's a big, that's a big search, I think, of all kind of on that search so I think in the end it's probably about being happy you know living in love um, living in compassion understanding we're all one we're all love <laughs> we're all here on a journey we're at just different parts of the journey you know um, consider an alternative approach surround yourself with wise teachers or friends um, Surround yourself with people that have energies that you enjoy being around, that you feel free being around, that you feel free opening your mind around. All of the things that you want to discuss that seem weird or supernatural or divine. You know, find a place, a space, um, a community where you're comfortable with that church. You know, you could start a group, you could have a couple cool friends over and hang out, but it's guidance that is being given to you, Capricorn. Somebody's giving you guidance and helping you out this week. So trust yourself to know what is true and what is trash, you know? Trust that you can um, feel the weight of the true nuggets of value, value in spirit and living by trusting how it feels inside of you. Whatever you see outside of you, trust inside of you first. Um, I want to say the wisest teachers point you in the direction to find your own truth. They don't whip it out on you. They don't make you believe something. They open your mind to find it yourself. So find other individuals who are open-minded with whatever you're wondering confused about you know this is a big question maybe you're having big questions this week but look for a different route you know look for a different way to understand um, right now is a time you can go on your phone and look up you know instead of going on one of those weird games that they have look up an ancient translation to some text that interests you or um, a religious text from a part of the world that is ancient that you never thought of that now you can go on your phone and find the translation just look it up look up something that feels divine and magnificent and uh, uh, miraculous to you and see where that leads you community wise and um, Jinx come here honey you need to come here please thank you come on we're gonna put you back Put you back. Stay there. All right, we're going to continue Capricorn with the tarot card. So, two of stones, harmony. Harmony restored. Balance. Balance between two different people. Balance between home and work. Balance between work and starting a new business with your 
you know, with like uh, hobbies or something. Jinx! She doesn't want to stay there at all. Can you stay here? Okay, that's cool. So, it's, it's balance. There's always something on the other side to bring you back. So find where balance can be restored in your life. Find where you're focusing your attention too much in one area and where you can put it, you know, more into another. Um, it's a two, so it could be between two, two different, ugh, I'm having a hard time speaking, Capricorn, between two different people. Um, so perhaps balancing between your schedule and somebody else's schedule. And perhaps if you, um talk it out, communicate, that can be worked out this week. Perhaps you're going to be, um, I don't know, maybe, I mean, this, this came for you, surrender, but perhaps there's a surrender on both parties involved so that harmony can be found in that case. Because I also see a one, I see a new start, so it's like a one and a two. One, two, three. So, yeah, look at this Capricorn. Let me see what the, what the other one is. Oh, Capricorn, you have a really nice reading. This is your wish. This is the star. What do you want? What do you want to start? What do you want to begin? What do you want harmony in, in your life? Where does harmony need to be? Your, your, your wish is here. It's possible. It's tangible. You can pull it down. You can almost touch it. Just take a step. Trust that guidance is bringing you towards where you need to be. If anything came to change things up, it was to, like, I want to say, throw up the dust cloud for a moment so that when it's settled, it can be seen with clear eyes so that the dust isn't in your eyes anymore. So you can find what your star really is, where your um, map is guiding you to. I see the North Star in this. I see waterfalls, like, camping at night by a by a lake maybe um, maybe you're gonna go on a trip this is beautiful this is the ace of cups of the north this is a brand new start something you love something that is overflowing with love and overflows your heart and your soul and your family and your work and your job and your day and your night with love love restored um, this is the Holy Grail. This is the secret right here. It all comes back to love. So, how can it come back to love for you? How does love fuel your wish, your desires, your dreams, Capricorn? This card, um, I keep seeing a lake, waterfalls, um, Perhaps going to um, the, go to the river. I feel like maybe that's a song for Capricorn. Take me to the river. Maybe I'll put that one there. Um, like, feel cleansed. Go somewhere where you feel fresh. You feel restored. You feel renewed. You feel in tune again, Capricorn. Where you feel like you can fly where your ship is sailing smoothly. Maybe you need to go on a boat, go on a rowboat, go on a kayak, actually go on some water and just chill, feel the water, come back to center. Um, maybe go on a little canoe trip or something with somebody else. You know, this could be two kayaks, two can canoes. I sort of see them as just sort of floating, even though it's, I see it on sand. So. Perhaps you're coming from dry land. You're coming from a dry spell, um, dryness in your emotions, and that's ready to burst now. Maybe somebody else's emotions were dry and they're ready to burst now. Perhaps um, take one step towards this star, this wish, this dream. It's coming true this week. What is it for you? Do one thing to get you closer and you might find yourself there. I hope you have a beautiful week. I hope this helped you, um, and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.